Ever wonder why tears stream down your face when you're just trying to prepare a delicious meal with onions? You're not alone. This is a mystery that has puzzled home cooks and professional chefs alike for ages. Is it the onion's way of revenge for being sliced and diced? Or is there something more to it? Well, as you might have guessed, it's not personal. It's just science. Our humble onion is packed with a potent chemical cocktail that's released into the air when we cut into it. This invisible cloud of molecules interacts with our eyes in a way that triggers the waterworks. But don't worry, it's not all tears and heartache. There are ways to mitigate the effects of this culinary hazard. So, why do we cry when we cut onions? And more importantly, how can we stop it? Stick with us as we delve into the science behind this familiar kitchen phenomenon. To understand our tearful reaction, we need to look at what happens when we slice into an onion. Imagine, if you will, each onion as a tiny chemical factory, full of potential energy just waiting to be released. When the factory's walls, or in this case the onion's cell walls, are breached, it sets off a chain reaction that ends with tears streaming down your face. When you cut into an onion, you're breaking open cells, releasing their contents into the air. Among these contents is a little enzyme called allinase. This enzyme sets off a chemical reaction that produces a molecule called synpropanethyl S-oxide, or SPSO for short. This SPSO is a volatile compound, meaning it readily turns into a gas, filling the air around the freshly cut onion. Now, here's where your eyes come into the story. As this gas wafts up and comes into contact with your eyes, it reacts with the water in your tears to form a weak sulfuric acid. Yes, you heard that right. Your eyes are essentially getting a mild acid bath, and trust me, they're not happy about it. Your eyes have sensory neurons that can detect even the slightest irritants. When they sense this mild acid, they send a distress signal to your brain, screaming, we're under attack. Your brain, being the ever so caring organ that it is, responds by telling your tear glands to produce tears to flush out the irritant. And there you have it. That's why cutting onions make us cry. It's not because you're thinking about that sad movie you watched last week, or because you're chopping onions for a recipe you'd rather not be making. It's a purely chemical reaction, a defense mechanism your body uses to protect your eyes. So it's not you being overly emotional, it's just chemistry. But why do our bodies react to this chemical with tears? This is a question that might have crossed your mind. The answer lies in the protective function of tears. Tears are our body's first line of defense against irritants. They're like the guardians of our eyes, constantly on duty, ensuring that our eyes remain in optimal condition. When our eyes are exposed to irritants, such as dust, smoke, or in this case, synpropanethyl S-oxide from onions, our tear glands kick into overdrive, producing more tears to help wash away the irritants. Think of tears as tiny soldiers, armed with a simple yet effective weapon, water. The water in our tears dilutes the irritating substances, helping to reduce their impact on our eyes. The additional tears also cause us to blink more, which helps to physically remove the irritant from our eyes. Tears are composed of three layers, an outer, oily layer that prevents evaporation, a middle, watery layer that carries the nutrients, and an inner, mucus layer that ensures the tear spreads evenly over the surface of the eye. This complex structure allows tears to not only protect our eyes, but also keep them moisturized and nourished. Moreover, tears contain lysozyme, an enzyme that has antibacterial properties. This enzyme can kill up to 95% of all bacteria in just 5 to 10 minutes, making tears an effective tool in fighting off potential infections. When we cut onions, the increased production of tears is our body's way of saying, alert, alert, harmful substances detected. So the next time you find yourself shedding a tear or two while chopping onions, remember, it's not a sign of weakness. It's a sign that your body is doing its job protecting your eyes from potential harm. Tears are not just for sorrow, they're also our body's clever defense mechanism. So whether it's a tear shed out of joy, sorrow, or even while cutting onions, each tear plays a vital role in protecting and maintaining the health of our eyes. Now that we understand why we cry, let's explore how to keep those tears at bay. How much would you love to chop onions without turning into a sobbing mess? Well, it's not impossible. There are several tricks that can help you achieve tear-free onion chopping. 
Firstly, try cutting the onion under cold water. The water creates a barrier that stops the synpropanthyl S oxide, or SPSO, from reaching your eyes. It's a bit inconvenient, sure, but it's a small price to pay for keeping your mascara in place, isn't it? Another way is to wet the knife before and during chopping. The water on the knife traps the SPSO and prevents it from being released into the air. Just remember to wet the knife frequently as you chop. If you're not a fan of wet chopping, you can also wear glasses or goggles while cutting onions. This blocks the SPSO from reaching your eyes. It might look a bit silly, but hey, if it stops the tears, why not? You can even make it fun by putting on some fancy goggles, and voila, you're the coolest chef in town. Lastly, you can cook the onion directly over an open flame or in a hot oven. Heat breaks down the SPSO, rendering it harmless. This method is especially useful if you're planning to cook the onions anyway. Just pop them into the oven or hold them over the stove for a few minutes before chopping. Now these methods might not completely eliminate tears, but they'll significantly reduce them. It's all about finding what works best for you. Some people might prefer the cold water method, while others might find glasses more practical. The important thing is not to dread the onion, but to embrace it and its tear-jerking tendencies. Remember, the onion is not your enemy. It's a delicious vegetable that adds depth and flavor to our dishes. It's worth a few tears, but with these tips, hopefully, you'll shed fewer of them. In the end, it's all about making cooking a more enjoyable experience. Because that's what it should be, right? A time to relax, to create, to enjoy the wonderful world of flavors. And if there's a way to make it better, even if it's just by reducing a few tears, then it's worth giving it a try. So, the next time you're faced with an onion, don't let it intimidate you. Arm yourself with these tips and dive right in. You're a master chef, after all. And master chefs don't let a little thing like an onion get in their way. With these tips, you can say goodbye to those onion-induced tears. You're now ready to take on any recipe, no matter how much onion it calls for. So go ahead, chop those onions like a pro, and let your culinary creativity flow. So, there you have it. We've taken a deep dive into the science behind why we cry when we cut onions. We've learned that this common kitchen experience is due to a chemical compound found in onions called synpropanthyl S oxide, or SPSO for short. This substance is released into the air when we cut or chop onions, and it irritates the nerve endings in our eyes, triggering our tear glands to produce tears. And speaking of tears, we've also explored their role in this process. It turns out, tears are not just a response to emotional moments. They are our body's natural defense mechanism against irritants like SPSO. When irritants reach our eyes, our tear glands kick into high gear, producing more tears to flush out the offending substance and protect our eyes. But don't worry, we've also shared some handy tips to help you avoid shedding tears the next time you're preparing onions. Soaking the onion in cold water before cutting Wetting your knife, wearing glasses, or cooking the onion immediately after cutting can all help to reduce the amount of SPSO released into the air, and hence lessen the likelihood of you crying. This might seem like a lot of information to remember, but it's all fascinating science that's happening right in our kitchens. And who knows, maybe understanding the science behind why we cry when we cut onions will make the experience a little less tearful and a bit more interesting. So the next time you find yourself tearing up over an onion, don't just wipe away your tears. Take a moment to appreciate the science that's at work. Remember, it's all just a part of the fascinating science of everyday life.